Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this retro lacy bracelet. It's easy to make and when I show you how to do this element you could use it in different type of projects like necklaces, bracelets, earrings, whatever you like and it's easy to make and I'll show you step by step so I'm sure you're gonna be able to make it by yourself and I'm using only seed beads for this project and a regular clasp. So if you like what I'm showing you here, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are two colors of 11 o seed beads and here I use lobster's claw clasp, you could use any type of clasp you like and I jump ring and this is Nemo beading thread that is 0.2 millimeters which is size D, size 10 beading needle and scissors and now I'm going to put about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back and I'm going to pick up 16 of these beautiful chameleon beads. Okay. And I have my 16 beads here, you see, 4 times 4 and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm going to make a knot here by first making here a loop and then going with my tail thread twice through the loop I've made and pull and this is called surgeon's knot or half hitch knot and then I want to make one more knot and pull again and now guys this is what I have I have a circle of 16 beads and now I'm going to go around reinforcing it okay and you could go two or three times around this circle here and now in my next step what I'm going to do is take five of these beautiful white beads okay I have here my five beads you see and I will skip the next bead on my way and I will go through the following dark bead Okay, now I have this and I'm going to repeat these steps one more time. Take five. Okay, I have here five beads, you see. Skip the next one that's on my way and I'm going through the following. Okay, now this is what I have. Five again. Okay. Skip the next one and go through the following. Okay, guys, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. It means five more times and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm putting my last five beads from this row and now this is what I have and now what I'm going to do is go here through this white bead in this direction okay through the one that's here on the top and through the following 
okay now you see where I am I'm after this white bead here in this direction don't worry your work pants at this stage we'll fix it later okay and I'm taking one bead of the darker darker color and I'm going here one bead away from the center and one bead from the top here one bead away from the one that's sticking out the most and now I'm going through this one this one and this one so through the three top beads okay take just one dark bead and go in the same place one bead here away from the center and one bead away from the bead that's sticking out the most at the edge okay now through the following two beads and I'm here between those two side beads of my element and take one and go in the same place here okay through the next two beads take just one take just one and go through the following and now guys I will continue doing this four more times and I'll meet you here okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last bead from this row okay now in my next step I'm going through these two white beads and through the following dark bead okay and here what I need to take are five more but this time dark beads I have my five here and I will go in my next dark bead now I'm going to take five again okay five skip these white beads and go through the following dark bead I will show you one more time okay five go through the following dark okay guys and I'm, now I'm going to continue this until the end of this row and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last five beads from this row and what I'm going to do in my next step is go through the following two beads and I'm here next to the bead that's sticking out the most okay and I'm taking three white beads and I'm skipping the one that's sticking out the most and going through the following two beads okay now guys I have this and I will go here I will skip this one that's at the angle and go through the following C bead and here I'm going to take just one bead and go through this one here okay again I skip this one and go through the following you see this makes a cool loop between those two beads here and this one and when I pull I have this now I'm going through one bead my goal is to, to be one bead before this bead that's sticking out the most. Okay, I'm taking three white beads and going through the following two. And if you can also go through this one here, through this bead. Okay, and pull. Now take just one white bead go back through these two beads in a circle and you see still I have a loop here then go through one bead in the same place like you did before take three beads skip
keep this one here at the angle. Go through the following two and if you can also through this one here. That's the next on your way. Skipping the angle bead here one more time. Take one white bead and go back through this here. Okay, and I will continue off camera doing this. If you forgot how I did it, just rewind the video and repeat these steps from here. And when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and here I'm adding my last white bead from this row, okay? And now in my next step, what, com what is coming up next is to attach my clasp here, okay? And in order to do this, I'm going through some beads in this direction. And I'm going to take four dark beads, my clasp, and four more dark beads. Okay, this is what I have on my needle. And I will go back here in this direction, attaching my clasp. Okay, and what I want to do is go back in circle, reinforcing my work here. Okay guys, and after I attached my clasp, I'm going to make a knot and cut my thread. And in order to make a knot, I'm making here a loop, going once, going second time. Through this loop I made, I'm pulling. What I do next is that I go through the following seed bead, pull. And you could repeat this knot several more times and when you're ready go through the following seed bead and cut your thread never cut next to a knot okay and the first element of my bracelet is ready and i will make more and more elements and i'll be back to tell you how to assemble them in a bracelet okay guys and what i did here are five more elements six elements are enough for my wrist you could put seven or eight elements on your bracelet it's up to you and now what i'm going to do is show you how to attach a new thread to this element and assemble it with the other elements you see at the other elements i finish them uh, without adding a clasp just making a knot and finish okay and it's absolutely the same thing. If you forgot how I did it, you know what to do. Just rewind the video and see how I'm making the first element. It's absolutely the same thing, okay? Here, what I wanna do is make a loop to attach my new thread and go once go second time through this loop I made and I pull and now I have my new thread attached and you could make several more knots and this here is my tail thread and I'm going to cut it and my new thread is about half an arm span or you could put even more if you want to reinforce your work better okay so now my goal is to exit through one of these white beads here this one that's exactly the opposite of this one where i attached my clasp and i'm taking my second element and now i'm going to take one dark bead and go through the other bead that's sticking out of my second element 
and when I pull I have this you see then I'm going to take one more seed bead and go back in circle through the other bead that's sticking out okay now I have this beautiful loop of beads and I will pull and I'm going to reinforce this joint here now I have this okay then my goal is to go through all of those beads in this direction and I want to reach this bead here and in order to do this I'm going through all of those beads if you can do it in one movement if not do two or three or more movements whatever it takes okay then it's easier for me to flip my work now I'm going to take one dark bead go back through this white one here pull take one dark bead and go back in circle through this white one in this direction then reinforce okay now guys I have this my first two elements are attached but what I want to do is continue with my third element and in order to do this what I want to do is reach the other part of this element in whatever way it's easier okay now I'm exiting here at this side which is exactly the opposite of this one and here I'm going to attach another element absolutely the same way I showed you adding one dark bead here one dark bead here going through here dark bead dark bead reinforcing and I will continue adding more and more beads and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you how to finish your press and now guys you see when I continued adding more and more elements this is what I have I added all of the six elements here and here I am where I just attached my last one okay and now what I want to do is exit at this side of my bracelet and I will show you how to finish it okay guys and what I want to do is exit through one of those edge beads that are sticking out the most and I'm going from the outside to the inside okay now here is my position and now I'm going to take eight of these beautiful dark beads and I'm going to take my jump ring okay I'm taking eight eight beads and my jump ring and I will go here through this white bead 
Now I'm going to reinforce, make some knots and my bracelet will be ready. And now guys, my retro lacy bracelet is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.